amigos, bienvenidos a este nuevo video de Speak Better Spanish. I'm Hannah and today we're going to be talking about an expression in Spanish which is dar ganas de. So you might be familiar with tener ganas de which means to feel like or have the desire to do something or have something. For example, tengo ganas de comer un helado. Tengo ganas de descansar. I feel like resting. I feel like having an ice cream. And dar ganas de is it similar. You'll see that it has the word ganas in it, which is kind of like desire. But it works in, in a different way. The structure works in a different way. So I'll give you guys a couple of examples to kind of illustrate this. So, estas canciones me dan muchas ganas de bailar. So these songs make me want to dance or like give me a lot of desire to dance. So we're going to make the dan plural because of the canciones. Another example would be esta computadora me da ganas de comprar una nueva computadora. So this computer gives me the desire to buy a new computer. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going to work in that way whether da or dan is going to be based on what it is that is giving us that desire. So even it doesn't have to be a thing. It could be like Tú me das muchas ganas de visitarte. Like you give me a lot of desire to visit you. Like I really want to visit you. And in that case, it's going to be das because tú. So you are the one causing that ganas. It's a really fun, like Spanish is such a fun language, right? And ganas is one of those expressions that we just don't quite have an equivalent for it in English and it's really fun to play around with. So this is an expression that's going to help you take your Spanish to the next level. I'd love to see you practice dar ganas de in the comment section. Let me give you two more examples just to finish this off. Este clima me da ganas de caminar. Or estos dulces me dan ganas de comerlas. So those those sweets, they, they really make me want to eat them. <laughs> so it's kind of a fun way to play around with the language because it's not necessarily like a straightforward direct sentence the way that we might speak in English. And this gives us a lot of flexibility and, and freedom to express ourselves. So yeah, give, us, give, give me an example below, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao! Hola amigos! Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that notifications bell so you'll always stay in the loop when I share a new video. And if you have any questions or comments on this video, drop them below. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting with personalized online classes, you can learn more about that at speakbetterspanish.com. Ciao!